Hey guys, Project Sermon here. Welcome back to Minecraft Stormboat Season 2, Episode 4. Below the Bedrock. Let's see uh, how right I was on the episode name. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Now, in normal Minecraft, nothing belongs. Or nothing belongs. Nothing lives below the Bedrock. But here. Previously on do. Minecraft Story Mode. Right, there is. The admin, a villain who can become anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you hide who you really are? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into... a hero? Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. It's just like the time I jumped from the cliffs of the Pow. Only, uh, uh, who am I kidding? This is nothing like that. <laughs> Thanks again for not leaving him behind. Though, let's be honest, no way you'd pick some llama over Nermi here. She's not just some llama. Luna's back there all alone. Probably scared. You're thinking too hard about this. We needed Nerm with us. He's part of the team. I don't know if that's the right thing to say. So was Luna. That was not the right choice. I meant to say I hope Luna's okay. Wow, you were right. There's a whole world down here. The first world. Created by us. Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. Wow. This shadow. The view from up here, it used to be beautiful. It would be hard to see your world like this. How long have you been gone exactly? No idea. It's hard to keep track of the time in maximum security. Long enough for the world to change. I knew what Romeo planned to do. But still, seeing it like this, Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him and... It was... Slow. He needs to be stopped. That's why we're here. He hurt you, and he'll hurt more people. I wonder if he had a heart at all. Or he was just a monster pretending to play along. We'll see. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that...? Biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. It would be great if I could go one day, just one day, without seeing something new and completely terrifying. So that thing is another admin created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. Mirage. 
amazing. Not in the eyes, Maynard. Don't look at its eyes. <gasps> Sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic. So big and glowy. Go, go. Going. <laughs> Dismantling the tower! My town isn't far from here. I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. Not asking for me, cause cause I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are impressive. State of the art machinery, automated farming. The oasis is a completely self-sustaining city. It's home. Unless they ripped it. What? What happened to it? I'm so sorry. I can only imagine if I saw Beacon Town like this. Save your pity. Wait. No. This is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. <laughs> oh, Nermi, Nermi, it's okay. <laughs> Come here, Belle. It's okay. Are you guys okay? Nurm here was poking around and found a llama blanket, and, um... It made him think of Luna. <laughs> Nurm ain't no... Come on, pal. No. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey, we're gonna see Luna again. You should hang on to that blanket and give it to her when we do. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Thanks, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? <gasps> Look! At... This! My bed! Come on! She's freaking out about a bed? Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? <laughs> wow. Maybe we should help her. Be my guest. I'm staying as far away from her throwing arm as possible. Ditto! I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, 
There's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. I made sure. It's just a bed, Zara. You can get another one. No sheep anymore, Jesse. No wool, no wood. Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? A portal. Broken now like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. Don't lose hope, okay? We can still do this, if you help us. I doubt that. What about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. Well, duh. We We're built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. Come on, Zara. If you built it once, you can build it again. You're the best inventor in the... Underneath. Probably the only inventor now. Even better? I don't get it. Why don't you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. Why? Because the admin can't win, Zara. I won't let him. Not after everything he's done. Mm -hmm. If Fred's weapon can take him down, I'm gonna find it. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. We'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh, great. Just what this place needed. Run on ahead! Better say no to a little gunpowder. Close one. Red Keep, here we come! Uh, Jesse? Oh, no. Who made eye contact with the Enderman? Sorry. No! <laughs> it's okay, we're still okay, so long as it doesn't. That. Everybody jump! Jack! I'm okay! No! Need to stop saying that! You two are in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. AKA trouble. Definitely smells like admin. You don't know what an admin smells like. Nope, no trouble here. Just two people hanging out. Yeah, you look like you're having a great time. <laughs> We've been scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? 
We're here to take down the admin. <laughs> You're kidding. You can't even make it off this gravel cliff by yourself. <laughs> Maybe we help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die. The first one. Pick the first one. I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there. Pulling you up. Help us and we may surprise you? When's the last time you met someone new down here? Not a fan of surprises. Especially since the last one. Things do get pretty boring down here, though. Here's the deal, folks. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us. What with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. A warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords? Or splat! Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. Yeah, <laughs> splat. Here! And one more makes two. Fine! But pull me up first. Nasty fall. Thank you. Those are fine blades. Oh, so now I'm being rude. The name's Porkchop. And this here's my crew. The toughest scavengers you'll ever have the pleasure of meeting. Hiya. Sup. Best be careful as you get on your way. You're looking a little squishy. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, watch out. <laughs> Never know when a cliff will just... Jump out at ya! <laughs> Don't worry about us. We're tougher than we look. Ooh, I bet you are. Be seeing ya, toodles! <laughs> One last piece of advice? Keep your eyes peeled. You're not alone down here. Yeah, luck, squeakies! Great. Let's go. Jesse! Jack! Are you okay? I've been better. What are you doing? Where's your sword? Um... Uh, come on. Oh, stupid scavengers, stupid cliffs. This never would have happened if... Okay, that's it. What happened up there? Oh, we got shaken down by a couple of scavengers and they took our swords. Well... At least you're okay, right? <sighs> I guess. Just haven't felt this pathetic since... Well, it's been a long time. Now we've got nothing to protect us against a normal Enderman, let alone a giant one. Hey, I did it to save your life, Jack. I had it taken care of. You were hanging off of a cliff! <laughs> well, uh, I mean... I, you know, I... I guess this is how they keep the mobs out. That looks cool. Strangers! Strangers! Binta! Ooh, what do we do here, Jesse? We come in peace. We're not gonna hurt you, I promise. Mm -hmm. We've been told that before. Fred, Fred, Fred believed it. Then he was stabbed in the back. Now what? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone. Everyone in the underneath. Binta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well-armed, and now they know we're coming. 
have been returned. Festivities will close with the fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? We're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters. Oh, man, I love oh, trivia. Cut her off. You Turn do? Her. Yes, it's so fun! Flexing those brain muscles, taking your mind off the incredible misery in the world, crushing down on you every... I mean, uh... Oh, look at that. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Benta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred and locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. Okay, let's do some trivia then. <laughs> That's the spirit. I wasn't sure an outsider would understand. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. The door stays locked until someone wins. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I've, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. I might as well get some sticks. Nice. What are you up to? Uh huh. Uh, uh oh. Just trying to figure out if, if there's a better way into Fred's house than, well, studying. Just in case. Okay then. So. So you're the one. The one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. But I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And oh, that means nice. you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. Yeah, how nice is he? I think he just glitched it for a second. Hi, um... Oh, you want to know something about Fred? Uh, yeah, actually. How did you... His favorite tool? A diamond hole. That's why I use two. <laughs> and why I take farming my mushrooms super, super seriously. For serious. Cool. Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Uh, bye. <laughs> Okay, don't freak out. I'm backing away. Nice and non threatening. Yeah, I just want to say hi. Guess we're not going to say hi. Like water in a bucket becomes the bucket. Nice moves, Radar. You've been practicing. Ah, well, thanks. I didn't know you were... Uh, just want to be ready. Anyway, 
The Oasis and Fred's Keep are all, you know, kind of broken. But I wonder what this place looked like before. Bet it was amazing. The admin's not gonna do this to Beacon Town, is he? We have no idea what he's doing up there. It could be all gone. Our town is strong enough to hold him off for a while. Mm -hmm. I hope so. No, you're right. We gotta believe in them. Look, if there's one thing I learned in the Slammer, it's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. Uh, one, yeah. uh, two, uh, and a half. <sighs> and half. Five, six, seven. Definitely use these. I don't know where Cosmos at, but let me guess. Fred liked to paint with his feet? Nope. Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves taught myself to paint like this, but these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. Uh -huh. You know, I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done, prop-like. <laughs> I'm on a roll, and this one's almost finished. You got it. Wow. Jet with her feet. Hold on, what was I making again? I already forgot. That canvas done? Uh, uh canvas. not yet. Don't you waste those resources I gave you. Sacrificed my hands to get them. to make a painting. Here you go, all done. <gasps> it's just lovely. I am going to paint this Fred's favorite color, not just any blue. Lapis blue. Oh. Lapis blue. Oh, same color as my underwear. Mine too. <laughs> so, Jesse's and Wanda's underwear. They're lapis blue. Hmm. Uh, that, uh, I was going to know that. So that's Fred, huh? Really cute. Oh, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. That's cool. And a wish for their pet. How does my work like this in natural life? Oh man, you are a serious fetch artist. about throwing it out far away. I saw something else over here. Ooh, Willie. Hey there, I'm looking for information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet. But you'll never guess his name. Never. You no stay in there now. Don't want that dog getting you now, do we? How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? Uh, oh, dog. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, dear little guy. I got a game for you. Okay, you see that chicken? He loves playing chase. Go get him. <laughs> Dog! What are you... Oh, no! Waffles! <laughs> Waffles! Come back! Come back! Waffles, huh? Fine, you got me. It's waffles, all right. Chicken could never make a decision. Poor fella. <laughs> waffles. I want to see what the other decision that dog had on it. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. Block. Did that say block out? Oh, that's so cool. Okay. You guys find anything useful? <laughs> Keep up the good work. The creepers never even stood a chance. The leader of Dreshnagel Valley was not an emotional man. But that day, that day, he shed a tear. That's one way to gather information, I guess. I think that's everybody. I guess I would take out all the information I could. Ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone! Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now! Gather around, everyone! Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent! And we have a challenger! Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. Comes from being the best. Oh, God. So what a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! Can't be my best friend! May the most faithful friend of Fred win. Oh, I will. For our first question, mm -hmm. I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar! Begin! It is already done! Not the world. I know, I definitely don't have that many blocks. <sighs> so maybe I could try building a 2D version of this.
close to that hundred. Yeah. Nice. Yes, yes, yes! Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his whole life. What? How can you say that? That that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though, I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. Yeah, I feel like that's a lot more. I declare this round a draw! What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. <laughs> now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! <laughs> now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this! His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct! Well done! Next question. Kent, Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hoe. Obviously. Very good! Jesse, Fred had a constant companion, a fine, feathery friend. <laughs> What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. That is correct! Jesse, well done! I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, watch. Uh, no one knows that. Uh, Fred didn't play favorites with resources. It's Birch. It's Birch! You, uh... Yes! Yes! Birch was Fred's favorite. That's right! Jesse won! <laughs> Way to go, Jesse! Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. I sure. love them. Thank you. I guess I'll wear them. Jesse, what the, what the I hope you find what you're looking for. It actually looks like Fred. That's funny. Oh, that's hilarious. A lot. I guess we'll look huh. kind of cozy. <laughs> okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, that's where funny. would I be? Blue really is Fred's favorite color. Even the bed's blue. <laughs> I don't jumping. mind if I just... <laughs> Whoa, half the pages are gone. And the rest, there are a lot of notes. Why am I forgetting his name all of a sudden? It was... Uh... Soren. It'd be funny if I see a book by Soren in here. 
Uh, community didn't seem to be as important to him. Whatever ideals that he'd had when he'd started, they'd shifted, rerouted. Something else had settled on his soul. Hmm. The rest is marked out. The foundation. Interesting. I'll do the closet last, because there might be more stuff in here. Empty. No one's used this thing for a long time. Really? Nothing else? Darn. Oh. Nothing in here now. Except that button. <gasps> Crikey. I'm gonna push it. It's a... Whoa! Secret room! That's cool. There's got to be something down here. Hmm. Another book. Great. But it's unmarked. No author. Dun, dun, dun. Let's read it. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. That... this is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. Huh. We were home. Wait. Home. And he wasn't talking about here. There's got to be something in here that says where this cabin is. Interesting. Huh. Wow, so this must be what it, for the most part, is supposed to look like had of it if you not blocked it off. This is Fred's keep. Romeo Berg. I know I saw another thing over here. This one is called The Survivor's Book of Secrets. Okay, secrets are good. This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. Yeah, it goes on. Signed by the chief. Hmm. Whatever the chief is. Interesting. Is there another book? Yes, there is. Interesting, but not really what I need. Hmm. Well, we look at the map. Three towns. There's the oasis there, and the keep. Third is... Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is Romeoburg? <laughs> no cabin, though. Mm. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Binta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Uh... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge, and it was shared with me in great confidence before, well, before this place was considered underneath. I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in, Fred's Zara. The Zara. The one and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. Your friend Jack spoke of all these lands we've never heard of. Yeah, about that. Well, did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? I don't know why Fred would have one, but I must admit I'm curious. I'm afraid we need to ask you for more help. Oh? Fred? Mention a cabin where he, Zara, and Romeo live. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? 
The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. The problem is we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? Binta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo... Romeo trapped us down here. He wants us to stay. I won't give him the satisfaction. You welcomed us in. Of course we'll help you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. Mm -hmm. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future Sorry, is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. So, I know I can trust you with this. You didn't have to do this. Thank you, really. You're very welcome. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so... You go on ahead. I, um... I'm gonna stay here, see what I can do to help. What? No, Jack, we have to stick together. Not this time. We're the best chance they've got to get out. Us and that portal Zara's fixing. I can do some good here. Help Binta convince them. Jack, what are you talking about? We can't just split up. Jesse, talk some sense into him. You're a good guy, Jack. Helping these people is the right thing to do. Thank you, Jesse. I... Hoped you'd see it that way. Huh? Oh. Friends don't leave friends behind. It won't be for long. Once you get the weapon, we'll get out of here. Just like we planned. You're not even gonna let us try to change your mind, are you? No. Petra, I... Whatever. We'll see you at the Oasis. When you set off that firework Binta gave you, I'll come running. Hopefully, I'll have a few new friends with me. I've still got the job. Listen to Petra and just let it go. She will punch you. Okay, okay, fine, jeez. So, uh, what's the compass saying? We still heading the right way? Hang on, let me check. Seems like we're still on. Cracks out, everybody brace yourselves. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, rough ride. Man, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah, what's up with...
Okay, hold on. Who, who are you? What are you doing? Why are you following us? How do you fit into any of this? Yeah. Come on, seriously, who are you? I am a shadow. Sent to eliminate all imposter Jesse. Like but, but I am Jesse. Oh, really? Then prove it. Tell me something that only Jesse would know. All right, you want to know something only Jesse could know? How about the fact that I wear blue underwear? Hey, if you're trying to make me so uncomfortable that I leave, it isn't working. Nope. Sorry, I'm not convinced. Sword time. Say your goodbyes, imposter. Well, if that's what you really think is best, it was nice to meet you, you strange masked man. Yes! Only the real Jesse would be so painfully earnest in such a dangerous situation. It can't be. Oh, please don't stop. Oh. Ivor? <clears throat> yes! Like it is I. Your friend Ivor. I like his old. I'm a ninja now, Jesse! What? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master, a practitioner of the shadow arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a very suspicious character. Oh, yes. But eventually, after a lot of uncomfortable eye contact, he asked me, me, to be his pupil. I was confused at first because he didn't exactly present his credentials or curriculum, but I'm always open to learning. I'm a student of life after all. So I said yes. Before I knew it, I was punching trees, cleaning floors, all as part of my so-called training. At first it seemed pointless, but after I had punched a forest's worth of trees and cleaned miles and miles of floor, two things became clear. Sometimes, doing menial tasks can be an amazing way to learn martial arts. And sometimes, strange old men just like tricking people into doing their housework. <laughs> anyway, it all worked out because now I'm a ninja. And my newfound ninja skills helped me find my way to you. Are you... Uh, are you done? Please? Please be done? Huh? Yes! Okay. I suppose I'm doing a lot of talking. I just had a lot to say after all of that quiet and mysterious business. It's so good to see you. This is insane. Oh, you know you missed me. Nope, really did not. Not even a little bit. I see a smile. Nope, I'm not smiling. Not even a teeny no. smile. Teeny tiny microscopic iota of us. Get in here, Petra. What? No, no. So awesome. But seriously, what are you doing down here? <laughs> Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return, having defeated this Admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. I mean, you didn't believe it, right? I did it first. How could I not? Looked like you, sounded like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. <laughs> Jesse, <laughs> AKA the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, AKA you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic. But you'd be surprised. Please, as if you could have actually killed me. I'm a ninja now, Jesse. You'd be surprised just how deadly I can be. 
Anyone else get chills? I got chills from that one. Wait, but what am I doing wasting time talking? If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. Which will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon! Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja! Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. Within the realm of possibility, but against all odds. Tell him I died trying to flee the Sunshine Institute. Fluff up his ego. Let him think that he built an inescapable prison. Ah, oh, yes. A fed <laughs> ego is a happy ego after all. <laughs> I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. No, oh, wait. Can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> ah! <laughs> you saw nothing. Oh, I love five four. We all just saw that, right? I I didn't like hallucinate ninja Ivor. No. Ah. It's been on almost every single. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. Love the half of the have you? I, uh, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay. Uh, you know, it is, in fact, not okay. Okay? Now just move along. Don't go anywhere near the building, or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you. We don't want to unleash the force of our army. And it's a mighty army. Yes, we've heard amazing things about your army. Because we're the new recruits. But Jesse, we're not really... Well, that's great. We should let him in. Because we really don't have Shut a... Shut it! <clears throat> we doubt your claims. <laughs> See this? This is my dowdy face. <laughs> hey, army! You too, Jeff! Let's take these invaders out! Uh, that's weird. It's not weird. The army just, just, uh, took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not going to ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. We're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard right here. Binta sent us to join your army. Uh, yeah, real psyched about it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can we let them join our army? Oh, please! Oh, please! Oh, please! Can they be in our army? I'll be good. I promise. We don't have an army soup. Besides, remember what happened to our real army? They all died in that infernal challenge room. I'm sorry, but we can't open the gate. You'll just have to... Find your compass pathfinding jollies elsewhere. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. Yeah, duh. Thank you, Val and Sue, for doing us a solid. It's our pleasure. We're kind of guard to do what we can every single day. Doing solids, saving lives. Gotta say, it feels good, real good. I escaped Romeo's highest security prison, the Sunshine Institute. 
Think I can handle some little challenge? Whoa, that's hardcore. Whoa, yeah. Anyone who escaped that place? Mad props. Open the gate! On it! No, Soup, the, the gate. Yet yeah, the, the real gate. Right! On it! <laughs> Whoa, weird llama. Interesting. She must smell Luna on you. I guess I'll grate the llama back. <laughs> I don't know what kind of great greeting that was unless they're in this place is each other. Baseland. Yeah, uh, having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I, uh... <laughs> suppose that, uh, might it's affect population lava. levels a little? Uh, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman. Or a huge flower. Just <sighs> make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time. Oh, I Tom. I don't know if I show this to you guys on the MSWCA. So. Uh, let's see. Let just do. So I can make it as close as I can. will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Yes. Wonderfully horrifying. <laughs> Nothing organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material. This is barbaric. This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering. Don't try to eat armor. Best advice I ever heard. Goofball. Poor goofballs. Cut down in their prime. Mama Brownish. Don't ask me how I come up with the names. Sometimes inspiration just comes to you. You know? Armor of such fine quality, you just want to crouch and yell, Please don't hit me. <laughs> Dangerous! But also damaged, so it's more relatable. <laughs> you know, like one trillion out of ten! Yeah! It's the seventh. What do you want? Everybody's got off days, you know? Straps and straps. That was one day when I was like, Sue, how many straps can you put on that armor? Turns out a lot is the answer. Is that 
the straps. Falls upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. Wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. I think this was meant for the three friends, Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? Just for his friends? Are you ready for the most brilliant, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge you've ever experienced? Something yeah. else. I'll cover you. On it!
crafting table nearby. <laughs> this guy has a twisted way of playing with his friends. Maybe we can bring this one down with water too. Radar and I will be these. Oh, fine! Anyway, so I guess it's time for another idea. We have gunpowder! TNT! Just gotta get some sand and we're set. Right, good thinking, Radar. Radar, get ready. Fire incoming! Just need four sand blocks, quickly! over there. I'm gonna go take a look around. Someone went through a lot of trouble to keep this place whole. For Fred. Did Romeo do all this? Maybe he regretted it, in the end. How are your feet? Ah, better. Still a little crispy, though. Ow, ow, okay, that hurts. Rest up, Radar, you've earned it. Oh, 
partners in my condition. I wonder if Petra found something. How's it looking? Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe fish. Safe fish. Let's just get that weapon and get out of here. Remember I used to read all the time? Now I barely do. Things change. Yeah. It's like the one we used to have back at the treehouse. Till someone, you, broke it. <laughs> uh-huh. <gasps> Petra? What's wrong? N n nothing. It just reminds me of... Uh, this, this story about puppies. Really sad story. You know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens. Come on, Petra, you're lying. We both know it. No! Puppies just make me really sad, okay? <sighs> Fine. It it's not the puppies. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one just leaving. Not everyone leaves, Petra. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, but maybe that's the problem. What if I want to go somewhere that isn't Beacon Town? I'll just be alone again. Axel and Olivia are barely around. Who knows how much longer Jack's gonna stay with us. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. That doesn't make it hurt any less, though. People change, Petra. They grow apart sometimes. That's not a bad thing. That's easy for you to say. I'm the one who always ends up alone. I, I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Something's not right here. Hmm. Purple, blue, red. The beds don't go with the banners? Very regal. Red bed. <laughs> kind of fun to say. <laughs> Always like the color blue. Something peaceful about it. Whoa, it's an observer block. What's it looking at? The beds? Nope, that's not it. This. It's a weapon, right? It's just a wooden sword. It's like the first thing you learned to build. Hardly an all-powerful super weapon. Let's keep looking. Something that belonged to Fred. Let's see what else they have Petra, I think we should talk about this. I told you. It, it's not important. We have bigger things to worry about right now. I get that. It's fine. If it's important to you, then it's important to me. I'm okay. Really. We have to take down the admin. After that, we'll figure out what comes next. I'm just saying if there's anything else in here before I continue to step back. I 
forgot the colors already. Purple, blue, red. Purple. Purple for Zara. That did something. One down. Now the rest of these need to go in the right order. The order of the stone. Blue for Fred. Red for Romeo. Be here where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says hashtag potato four five one. Potato? <laughs> That's the weapon? What are what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable and not a very good one. I oh, I hate potatoes. I don't care how silly it sounds, as long as it works. Yeah, I guess. Just potato? Or, sorry, I meant hashtag potato 451. <laughs> hashtag potato 451. Take this word of passage and use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage, huh? I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend, always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Yeah, I feel kind of bad for them, too. This wasn't easy for any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but... Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together, more than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. You are nothing like the admin. Don't compare yourself to him. Even he didn't start out that way. It just got bad. I don't want to cross that line, too. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. About how I need to figure things out for myself. And I think... I think that's out there. Not in Beacon Town. But I don't want to... Lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I. More than anyone else, you've been there. And I. I don't want to leave if it means. You're my best friend, Jesse. I'll be right there with you, Petra. If you think your place is out there, then so is mine. I always knew you were a big old softy. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. We'll see. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. Time to call the others. We're getting out of here. What do you think 
you're doing. The portal is hidden for a reason, to keep things away. This is our way to get Jack and Nurm. We need them. Right. That won't be a burden. Sounding pretty adminish there, Zara. The weapon is what we need, not bodies to throw at the problem. People just complicate things, make everything messy, inefficient. No one, no one gets left behind, ever. I mean, that's not exactly true. Yes, that furry one, the weird horse. You left her in the prison. But we, we needed... Well, from now on, then. Might be your downfall, waiting on others. Better be careful about that. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end? Yep, I think this should send us home. Yep. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. Hmm. Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped. Once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. You know that's not what Fred would have wanted. No, you're right. But Fred is dead because of his heart. Something else has to be tried. But heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us, cut down. I can't let it stand. Romeo regretted what he did. He planted a tree for Fred. We saw it. <laughs> a tree. <laughs> a memorial is too little. Well, what about that whole game he built? He clearly cared about you. Once. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over. Here, I found this, and there are good things left if you look for them. That you would... I... I'm not used to being wrong. Thank you. But we still need to move forward. <sighs> All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse? Yeah. <laughs> 
just give your worst. Topside. Come and get some of this! Oh yeah, that's right! I'm talking about these huge arms! He has this, and he's giving us an opening. Everyone now, Ken, come on! You could ask more nicely. But where? Anywhere has got to be better than here. portals ever what nerm said that was not a quality three-point landing sorry nermy <laughs> is everyone all right 
It's the old order's temple. We did it. We're back. <laughs> Radar would be flipping out if he were here right now. Hmm. Standing where the great hero stood. This is amazing. <laughs> Spot on impression. I mean, come on. You know he'd be all over historical Order of the Stone sites. He'd probably not want to touch anything. Too scared. <laughs> it was weeks before he'd touch the Order Hall front door without wearing gloves. He'll make it back to us. He'll just be a little... Late? Sure. Bet that'll bother him, too. <laughs> He's always on time. Jesse, uh... we are endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did for us. Uh -huh. We'd thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again. Did you see that? Uh -oh. Okay, somebody tell me I'm losing it. Is that... Beacon Town. Uh-oh. Jesse, man, is it good to see you? Where are the others? Uh oh, that's not good. Well, oh, that was an exciting episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. Let us know if you guys want to see me do videos like this more often. I feel like that, those dirt, the grass blocks are not supposed to look like that. Anyways, uh, then after that, if you aren't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then make sure you hit the bell icon and hit all. So you guys are you notified know, one upload a video or do a live stream. So, as always guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Bye bye.